1,200 miles of the Ice Age Trail here in Wisconsin can sometimes run along private businesses, private land, homes, and today as we're walking along this low lake segment of the Ice Age Trail, there's a Christmas tree farm right next to the segment we're walking on right now. There's some evidence right here of some of those Christmas trees. So many cool things you experience and get to see as we visit the different segments of Wisconsin's Ice Age Trail. Makes sense to me as I look over here on the other side of the path that I would see these tall pine trees. Let's keep traveling, friends. I'm noticing that Miss Chisholm is looking at something there. Miss Chisholm, is that a map? Actually, it's another one of those strategically placed signs that has a lot of information. I see four chunks of text and a photo of exactly what we're looking at. So I am learning that we're looking at the Oconomowoc River. And I'm also reading that this river joins many other rivers and that this river, any water you see flowing there, ends up emptying into the Mississippi River and then empties into the Gulf of Mexico eventually. I'm also reading that this river flows in the middle and we can see it, the middle of a wide valley. And that comes from an ancient glacial spillway. So friends, that opening that you see, that valley was at one time like a giant powerful river called a spillway. And as that glacier receded, so much of this water that was in that area was trapped in there and it was trapped between the glacier that was retreating and finally the water broke through this area and it did it just poured through here in a massive flood and it carved away pieces of the land it says that it carved a mile wide valley and it formed a huge, now extinct lake. So the lake that it went into is now extinct. As we turn around here and I look, I notice that the land, it looks pretty steep. It looks like it's on an elevated plain here. And I wonder when it rains, where does that rainwater go? I'm thinking, explorers, that that rainwater flows right into the Oconomowoc River. So it's like what we're looking at, it's so exciting. It's like to imagine what happened here to create this huge valley. Boy, it's like powerful history. It's just so cool to be here. Hi explorers, we just reached mile seven and a half on our exploration today and we've hiked equivalent to 33 flights of stairs. We're stopping right now to take a quick hydration break because when you're hiking it's important to take care of your body so that you can make it to the finish. Let's keep going. We've just walked away from the Oconomowoc River and we're now approaching this next segment of the Low Lake Ice Age Trail. And I notice there's such a variety in this landscape again. It's changing as we're walking through. I notice as I'm standing right here that it looks like it's wide open. But when I tilt up and look up I noticed that we're actually in a very heavily wooded area as I look at all these treetops. And I'm noticing some of the trees in this area are 
older. It's not all that new growth that we were seeing earlier in the low lake segment. Standing on top of an esker. But as we look out, I have to stop one more time to show you because it's so beautiful. The changing of the leaves. It's just so pretty, fourth graders. You can't capture this enough. So great to be out here, friends. Just soaking in this beauty. Other people are on the trail soaking in the beauty. We're finishing strong. Hi explorers, we just made it back to Deer Creek. It's about 4.45 and we had such a great day of learning about eskers and so many other land features over by Holy Hill and the Low Lake segment. So we today walked 11 miles and it counted as 53 flights of stairs. Wow, what a hike. What a great day! So fun! We can't wait to teach you everything we learned. Join us in our next video!